Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Eric's Blind Run. We are here on the depths of Yoth. Why don't you take our acting agenda for a spin? I was very disappointed, by the way, that I learned I could have been a Yithian, and I didn't. <laughs> Endless caverns. You are convinced of it now. These caverns are without end. They must span the entire the entirety of the subterranean layer of the Earth. Will you ever reach the Nexus? Will you ever make it home? Wouldn't it suck if we had just started too far away? Yep. Just bad, just bad investigating. Journey to the Nexus. Doubt and horror grew upon me as I wound still further down the endless staircase. Would the thing ever stop? H.P. Lovecraft and Zelia Bishop, The Mound. If there are no clues on your location, explore. Draw the top card of the exploration deck. If, a connecting lo if it is a connecting location, put it into play and move to it. Objective. At the end of the round, if investigators at Steps of Yoth possess the requisite number of clues, they may advance. This is it? That's it. Warning, any investigator who is not a Steps of Yoth will be defeated. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. I'll go. Yeah. I mean, I can also go first, but no, you should go. You can go. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Deep Knowledge. Uh, how many, what's your maximum hand size? Uh, yours, yeah, yours is 11, right? Because you yeah. got the Hermit. Mine's eight. Okay, I'm going to say draw a card. I'm Thank gonna you. I'm going to draw two. Oh, that, that really helps. Okay, um, and then we're going to gain a resource. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to spend it all. Oh, yeah, I can start gambling again. To play six cents. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, I'm not against what just happened here. All right. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, this is a tricky scenario to be in, to be honest. It's kind of a tough one, and I think I need to, like, be aware of that. But I don't think we need to be super aware of it yet. I'm going to play the Red Clock. Very strong opening. I have a Faustian Bargain. So we'll put in some more Curse Tokens. Oh, thank you. Give me one more resource, so we're at seven. Oh, uh, I will gamble. We're back here. Hey, guys, want to play some, uh... We're gonna go just three to one. Minus two. You're like, I learned something deep in the city of the great race. And what I learned was there's no limit to the amount of money I can make. Um, I'm gonna false covenant that one. Okay, you don't want me to plus one it? No. Cause I don't like them. That's fair. Should I have you plus one them? I'm sorry. I'll just lose that money, that's okay. Easy come, easy go. Uh, I have one True. action left. Our I last scenario was a wild ride. <laughs> I think it's just gaining a resource. Okay. I mean, I could try investigating three to one. I'll help. Oh, thank you. I would like to investigate first next turn, I think, as well. I yes. would like to go first. Happy to. Yeah, I'll grab a clue. Because I got three book, baby. Three book, baby. All right, we can go upkeep. Interesting. All right, Eric, bong, four of, one of four, sorry. <laughs> four of one. This deck's huge. Is that actually how big it's supposed to be? Keep, yeah, you can, you can draw. Let me just check to make sure. Bathophobia. Revelation, test brain X. This test gets plus X difficulty where X is the current depth level. If you fail, take two horror. Depth level is one. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just going to test four to one. Uh, four to two. Four to two. The tower! Minus two, you're good. Yeah. If there's three vengeance in the victory display, we automatically fail. Okay. So we probably want to avoid that. Hey, we got a deep dark. We only get one clue per investigator. That's totally fine. That works. All right, I'm going to get a charge. Do it. So it's gonna be plus four to my next skill test. So we're gonna go seven. I'm gonna commit this all in. We're gonna go nine to one. We love it. Wow, losing three resources at the beginning of the game yeah. really slows you. Six to one, so I'll draw five cards. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Shelf any weaknesses back in, but I will grab a clue. Do I have a job? No. Um. Yeah. What the fuck? 
Okay. <clears throat> Man, if you get... Actually, never mind. I was gonna say, if you get Ikak, I would love for you to lock my, um, my money weakness under her, but I also just, like, don't... I can make enough money to not make it matter. I mean, if you're sure. I think the stat boost is probably better for you. Yeah. Okay, uh, that was my first action. Mm -hmm. I can't get another clue this round. But you could get a clue and explore. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to fast out a switchblade. So we get a weapon going. Nice. I'm going to play this well connected. Nice. And then I'm going to spend three money to gain ten. And we'll go up to eleven resources. Nice. And that's me. I am going to... Spend one to pay favor, play favor of the moon. You want three moons? Three chaos. I call them moons now. Keep up. <laughs> there we go. Three curse tokens. Sick. That's exactly and that's fast, so you don't get anything else. You, so you still have three actions left. Yeah, so now I'm going to uh, investigate. Hell yeah! Um, oh, hey, at hey, six to, to one. Oh, that seems pretty good. Hi, buddy. Minus the current depth level. No, 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 no. Oh, I should probably gamble. I'm going to gamble, too. Sure. Um, I can do that as a lightning bolt. See, I'll do it during your turn. All right, we're going three to one on this. Oh, I could do this as well. We might as well, because then I can go... Oh. Let's say I spent two of these. And then I can get plus... Two, so we'll go five to two. Russell is looking so cute on camera right now. Nice, I'll gain four money. Okay, yeah. I'm back. That's why I was feeling it a little bit because I was out of money zone, but now we're back. Excuse me! Do you mind handing me a die? Yeah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Thank you. All right, go for it. Sorry for interrupting. No, that's quite all right. You uh, got the clue? Would you like to explore? I think I do. All right, so notably, Eric, there's no treacheries in this explore deck. Oh, my God. Yeah. They're all in that massive thing. So how many do I reveal? Uh, you reveal until you get a, a connecting location. That is not one of them. That's not one of them. Found it. That is one of them. Bridge over Nakai uh, gets plus one shroud for each vengeance point in the victory display. Okay. You move there, and there's two clues. Which means I probably want to grab those now. Yeah, you still have one action left. Yeah, so I'm going to go for it. Heck yeah. Minus two. Yeah, I'm fine. Grab a clue. All right. I think that it's upkeep, right? Yes. Mom, it's not time for you yet. <laughs> All right, two of four. What do you got? I mean, isn't it better if she comes out early? It's true. Uh, deep Dark. Put Deep Dark into next to the agenda deck. No more than one clue may be discovered by each uh, location, by each investigator okay, in each we round. We did not cheat last round. Because I got one, you got one, you got one here, and it's per location. Yeah. Uh, I got some Lightless Shadow. Test one. We're going to go two. I'm going to use my Well Connected, I think, on this to go... Um, I have 14, so I get three. So we're going to go... Seven to two. I'm sorry, it's a lot less impressive that you know people under the earth than you know people in a parallel dimension in space. That's true. Okay. Well, what are you thinking? You want to maybe grab a clue and explore? I'm thinking I do. Just, we're, we're back into normal Arkham right now. Yeah. We have all of our assets. We do our things that we do. It's, and we're not Yethians, so, like, what's the point? What's the point? I'm having a lot of, like, uh... Post Yithian sadness, depression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I am going to exhaust. Nice, get a resource. So you reveal the curse token. I assume you're gonna make it a plus one. Yeah. So you're now seven to two. Good. Grab a clue. And then this one actually goes away. No, 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 because you plus one. To oh right. <laughs> <laughs> you get a clue. And you have two actions left. Here's the explore deck. If you do decide to explore. I think I do. All right, Steps of Yoth. So this one is our goal. This is the resign one. We need six clues, which we don't have. But we almost do. Uh, when adding uh, to the current depth level, investigators possess ten clues. An investigator at this location may cross off the rope to add one additional resource to the depth level. 
Um, so you have a rope, mm -hmm. so we could do that if we had ten clues, but we don't right now. Things will start piecing together slowly. Just trust the ride for right now. But right now our objective is to get six here. But if we have ten here, something different happens. Okay. Uh, but you're here and you have an action left. There's no clues. No, you could explore again if you wanted. I mean, I might as well. Heck yeah, deck's still next to you. Oh, careful, careful, buddy, careful. The abandoned site. X is the current depth level. Which is... One. one, which is one. Okay, uh, that's you, right? That's me. All right, what do you want me to do, Eric? I'm going to move three times. So I could investigate here mm -hmm. to help us for next turn, just in case we maybe find a deep dark. Yeah. I also could explore, like, do you want to do the rope thing, or do you want to wait for the rope thing to see how things go? I'll let you lead, because you are the... You I, are wanna, the I, I mean, we're only on step one, and nothing's happened yet, yeah, so I'm wanna... very comfortable waiting to see what happens. All right, I'll move in here, then. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to gamble. Because it feels like otherwise we're just going to blast through this one. Potentially. Uh, so we're going to go three to one for my gambling. Mm -hmm. I love gambling. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken no actions yet, by the way, everybody at home. Yeah. I fail. That's not fun. I'm sorry. Well, I'm supposed to win when you gamble. Right, I'm gonna draw a card. That is been that has been my experience with it, yeah. Watching you. Oh, and this is not exhausted. I gotta stop exhausting things. Does it not exhaust? That one might. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Some things do, some things don't. <laughs> it's just like internalizing the cards. Okay. I suppose I'm gonna investigate. Just three to one. Those are hardly steps. That's more like a path. It's true. I guess they're snakes. They don't... You know, I think I'm going to draw one more card before I investigate, because I don't think... Uh, I'm going to play this Delilah O'Rourke instead of investigating. That seems reasonable. Yeah, I think that's good. And right, then we're going to go upkeep. Discard that. Oh, I'd love to investigate this location for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, um, evil card going to you. Serpent from Yoth. Nah, that's not, that's annoying. Humanoid, monster, serpent. If there are one or more vengeance points, it gains retaliate, it gains hunter, it takes one last damage. It's very spooky. Okay, I have this foot test. I really wanted to use my well connected for something else. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could just go four to two. That is pretty good. Oh, I have five to two. That's even better. I forgot I have Delilah. Her name's Delilah. She's got roses in her hair and legs go down to there. That's the ground, by the way, which is good because she's all floating. Uh, yeah, we're good. We passed that. What if what if they went down past the ground? Too what if you're like, legs down to there? <laughs> just like, where is there? <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to maybe try to have some fun this turn. Okay. And I'm going to put, once again, all my eggs in one basket. Oh, and against that the basket from is, No, nah, I'll deal with him eventually. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of how we do this. Okay, so what I think I actually do is I think I res... No, we don't reset this. The extra actions are so big for killing the Serpent of Yoth. Okay, I'm going to go up to three. So I got to take two extra actions this turn. So we have five actions. Yeah. For my Lightning Bolt, I'm going to... Spend... One resource to... Actually, I'm going to spend no resources spend no resources to do my test at three to zero. I'm gonna commit this double or nothing, so it's a four to zero. I'm gonna commit this quick thinking and this watch this, and we're gonna put three on it. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. So I have six to zero. 
Everything's good. I have five actions remaining. Don't say that. Everything's golden. All right. I'm going to take two additional actions this turn, and I get 12 resources. So I have seven actions remaining. <laughs> See why they tabooed that card. Yeah. The, so the double or nothing, like taboo is like balance, right? Yeah. Uh, it's just forbidden. You can't play it. That makes sense. Uh, give me man. Give me man. I have six actions remaining. I'm just going to throw them in until he's dead. Uh, and then I'll figure out how many I have after. Okay. So I have six to three. Okay. I'll do this one to go a bunch to three. I think only the minus five is going to need, need me to do math. No, that's a minus two, right? Yeah. This guy will take two damage. All right, I have five actions remaining. We're going to attack this guy at six to three. Minus two is four. He's going to take one damage. We're going to go six to three again. Four actions remaining. He's going to take two actions. He's dead. Victory display for him. Three actions remaining. I have a turn. You have almost a full turn. All right, I'm going to play this... Um... Theramos. Thermos. That's not how you pronounce it. There, no, I like saying things wrong. Actually, so I purposely pronounce Eureka, Eureka, because I play Eureka in a lot of decks, and I play Eureka. And one person commented, was just like, is this how Canadians pronounce it? <laughs> Which I thought was really funny. That's very fun. All right, uh, I have two actions remaining. Yes. I'm going to use this to heal two damage off of me, and then I'm going to have some horror healing coming your way. Sick. And then I think for my last action... I'm gonna just throw an investigate in. We're gonna go three to three to. We're gonna go four to one. I'm gonna try to help. Oh, actually, Eric, should I? Oh, I was I was doing the chaos tokens. Oh, sure, go for it. Yeah. Uh, Eric, do you think you can get both these clues and get here? Because then I can go here and we can advance this turn if you wanted. Yeah. Okay, I'll move here for my last action. That was a crazy turn, chat. Yeah. Just game winning. Just game winning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I go for your discard pile. That was the correct play. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, in that case, I'm going to investigate. Yep. So you have six to one. Seems pretty good. Let's well, seven to one it. Nice. Well, because we're going to advance. Oh, it's not done. Oh. No, there's, there's a lot left. You know what? We might not advance next. Well, yeah, it might be next turn. Because in that case, I'm going to... Oh, sure, sure. Gain a resource. Play the tower, so I've only got one action left. So I'm sorry, I will only be... Can I make a suggestion? Yes. I think we should advance this turn just for reasons, if you try. Okay. If it goes, if you fail your first investigation, I say play the tower. Oh, yeah, that's actually yeah. a really good point. But I just think uh, we'll want to for reasons. Okay. Let's... Go into it. Nice. So this time we're not going to do the chaos tokens. Sounds good. So you're f six to one. Very hard to fail this. Yep. Cool. Now we're going to go. Yep. Oh. You have four? Four. We actually have enough that if you wanted to come here, because we only need six clues. That's true, but then I can't favor the moon, but that's fine, because then I'll just gain the resource next turn. Sure. You have one action left. You can gain the resource now if we wanted. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we go upkeep. Finally, I have my starting resources. How are you doing for resources, Justin? I could use more. Uh, end of the round, Eric. Why don't you advance? Don't spend the clues. We just need to have them. Okay. Add one resource to the current depth level. If the current depth level is 5 plus and you're playing in campaign mode, go to R2. Otherwise, perform the following. Each investigator who is not on the steps, we are defeated. Move each enemy in play to the pursuit area. Remove all doom from locations in play. Holy cow. Set aside locations in play in the exploration deck out of play. They're not defeated. We're not defeated during this process. Draw a random set aside location other than steps of Yoth. Put it into play and replace each surviving and place each surviving investigator into that location. Create a new exploration deck consisting of steps of Yoth and four uh, and four other random set-aside locations. Shuffle the exploration deck. Flip this act back. Journey as deep as you can. 
So we need to get to depth level 5. <laughs> That's wild. Now here's our new exploration deck. Now I understand why we needed food. Keep going, buddy. Oh, now we're on the crumbling precipice. All right, why don't you read that one? Actually, yeah, yeah, read that one out, yeah. When you attempt to explore while at the crumbling precipice, test four brain. If you fail, test three foot. If you fail, test two fist. If you fail, you fold your death and are killed. Thank goodness we don't have to. Oh, this is exploring. I, I could go with my well connected to give it a shot. Thank you. And if it all goes south, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And now we draw our... Uh, advance this. But it removes all the doom from that. Uh, locations. This is the agenda, so that stays. Oh. The path ahead is blocked by a sheer rock cliff. That's really funny. That's <laughs> really good environment Just a good storytelling. Stump, yeah. You start to search for a way down when suddenly hisses and shrieks emerge from behind you, and the area is bathed in orange firelight. The serpents are coming. One of you must climb to safety and pull the others up. Find the enemy that is in pursuit with the highest evade value and spawn it at the location doesn't happen. The lead investigator chooses one location to be the group's scout. That investigator checks his or her supplies. If the scout has rope, he or she is able to climb up with ease and the investigators suffer no ill effects. Well, then I'll be the scout and I'll take the rope. Cool. So we're good. Awesome. I'll take that. City of Blood. The caverns are no longer quiet. The angry cries and rattling of serpent creatures is all around you now, urging you onward. The caverns' unnatural red glow becomes more intense. In this red light, the cities of Yoth take on another guise, no longer a source of hidden knowledge, but a place of animosity that resents your mere presence. How many more do we have? Okay, thank goodness. All right, what do you got? What do I got? Oh, hello, Eater of the Depths. Oh, that's actually not too terrible. Put, aside, put a random set-aside location into play and spawn Eater of the Depths. He, there, Hunter, yeah. massive. X is the current depth level. So it actually gave us a location that we can move to. Oh, wow. Yep. So this guy's 5'6". That's a big boy. That is a big boy is the problem. So I'm probably going to do some evading on that guy. Uh, I have drawn... Ooh, that's not great. Well, I'm going to use my well-connected. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go... I have... 16, so I get plus 4. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go 6 to 3 and just hope we're okay. If I can't do this, I cannot move, and you're going to need to go and evade that guy. Yep. We're golden. Great. Okay, so I don't think I'll be able to kill this guy this turn, but I can at least, like, knock him down for a bit. Sounds good. Unless we try to be a little bit wild. Is he worth victory? He is worth victory. I mean, maybe I could. All right, I, I, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to have some fun, okay, chat? We're going to have some fun here. Are you guys all ready for this? I'm going to transfer this to my resource pool. Okay. And I'm going to then put one on this. I get plus four to my next skill test this turn. Okay. I'm going to move in here. Mm -hmm. And I see this eater of the depths and I say, motherfucker, I ain't, I ain't done. I'm going to play sleight of hand. Play only during a turn. Put an item ass into play from your hand at the end of the turn. If it's still in play, return it to my hand. I have a sawed-off shotgun. <laughs> All right. So, with this thing, um, I don't get any bonus, but it deals damage equal to the amount I succeeded by. Oh, my God. So, I'm going to pay two to ready this, and then I'm going to use this. So, I have three... Four, eight, twelve. So we're going to test twelve to five. Twelve to five. I don't think I can do anything to help. No, we're at different locations. Yeah. This is my second action. I succeed by six. Which kills it. Yeah, I deal maximum of six damage. It's dead. You're like, eat this. <laughs> that, that was pretty sick, chat. <laughs> Holy I'm shit. I'm not going to complain about that. Why is the Relic of Ages outside of my deck? Uh, this is a second, a different one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just part of the set. Okay, um, well, um, I honestly feel like I am the strongest person who's ever lived. 
That was insane! <laughs> I think you just killed a dinosaur. I just, with a shot, one shot with a shot off, sawed off shotgun. I don't think I'll just draw a card for my last action. So that monster has been nothing but benefit to us. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is gonna go back to my hand. Amazing. I'm coming for you next, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say me. Nice. I'm gonna play the tower. No, 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 buddy, please. Go Just here. Go away, please, Russ. And then we're gonna do some bullshit. Oh, I love bullshit. You have one action left? Yeah. Hell yeah. So, we're gonna investigate. All right. With uh, just a book, or are you doing something else? We're gonna investigate with book. Uh, brain. Brain. Six cents. So you're gonna go six to the games. Three. It's plus one shroud for each vengeance point the victory display. Oh, vengeance two. point. Oh, okay, not depth. Yeah. So that's six to three. We're gonna activate. Six to two. Six, six to, two. to two. Yeah. <clears throat> Nine to two. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna do favor of. <laughs> Twelve to two. <laughs> uh, uh. You're going to activate that. Favor of the moon. Yep. Get the, the resource. Get it. Turn it as a plus one. Yeah, that seems pretty sick. <clears throat> and then... Russ, Eric's trying to play the game. So I'm at, I was at what? Four, five, six, so you, seven, I, eight, yeah, nine, ten, at, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen to the game's two. You did it. Yeah. Hi. You get a clue. And those go back to your hand. Yeah. And that goes back in the bag. Yeah. Sick. I love it. And this goes back in the bag. Yes. Hey, buddy. And uh, I think that's upkeep, right? I'll grab your clue, Eric. Don't forget about that. Yeah, because I went one clue. No. No, one, no, two, three. You, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and you get a clue. Yeah, I don't forget about my clue. All right, then we got to go upkeep. Oh, I didn't gamble this turn. That's okay. That's a good draw. Do you like how I play Faye? I do. I do. <laughs> Ah, that's, uh, that's not what I meant to draw. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I was like, why do I have a city of serpents in my deck? Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, no, this just got funnier. Uh, what's your evil card? I can't believe I just roasted that fucker. You did. Ill Omen. Peril. Choose a location where at least one investigator plays one doom on that location. Each investigator of that chosen location takes one horror. Well, it's there's no peril. Yeah. We oh, just... I think you should have one more horror marked on you because you haven't healed yet, right? That's correct. So I'm at four total? You're, you're going to have five after this. Yeah. And you're yeah. also going to take a horror. Yeah, do you want to hand me one? And we get a doom on this, which is a little bit unfortunate because I don't think we can get out in time to avoid that, but that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I will get uh, Pit Warden. If Yig is in play, spawn it at Pit Warden's location. At Yig's location. Otherwise, this guy's going to go in the pursuit area. So okay. this guy is following us. Good to know. Um, Eric, why don't I go first? Go for it. Because I think I'm going to give you... Oh, you're in favor of the moons ready. Thank you. Eric, I'm going to heal two horror off of you. Oh, thank you. Drink from my... Drink my soup. Drink my soup. Um, I'm going to... Play this stylish coat mm -hmm. for two. Um... I'll investigate. Yeah. Uh, and I will go... I get plus three. So we're going to go six to two. Mm -hmm. uh, that does not exist. Holy shit, an elder sign. I think I'm going to take that sleight of hand back. Because then I can bring that sawed off shotgun back into play. And how many will we have in the bag then? I think we have four in the bag. Okay. I'll grab that clue. Yeah. And then I am going to gamble. We're just going to gamble up two. So we're going to go three to one. <clears throat> oh, sorry. This should be up here. I wasn't going to move. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I couldn't one, two. Let's say I did it. Okay. Uh, I will succeed. I'll gain a resource, but I'll make it two. Nice. Go for it. Okay. Um, well, in that case, just to be... Uh, 
Might as well spend the two. Nice. Um, I'm going to explore. explore. Dex right there. <clears throat> Just the top one? Just the top one, yeah. It's until you hit something, you can go there. Oh, that's There's funny. our steps again. Yep. Um, so that was one, two. I guess I'll explore again. Heck yeah. A lot of places to go from here. That is one of them. <clears throat> Not enough clues, though. No. Okay, maybe I can explore to try to find another one as well. Yeah. So what's this one do? Uh, while an investigator is in Halls of Heresy, it is considered to be the, in the victory display for the purposes of counting vengeance. So it's got vengeance two. Okay, so we have two. We're still one short on that. Yeah. Okay, I think that's everybody. We can get up, keep. Yeah. So I'm now very focused because I realize just how insane this level is. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we're at three of four. I don't think we can get out this turn, so we're going to get Ancient Evils, but that's okay. Maybe we'll get more Doom this turn. So what's yeah. your evil card? Snake Scourge. Uh, if you are poisoned, it gains Surge. Treat your non-weakness item assets as if they were blank at the end of the round. So what are my item assets? Just your Holy Rosary. Okay, that's fine. Um, Eric, we're each going to lose two resources. Okay. Okay. Uh, here, Eric, let me go first. Because, mm -hmm. oh, maybe I can reveal location and you can maybe sneak some clues with six cents. That could be fun. Yeah. All right, I get to take five actions this turn. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm just trying to think of where I should explore from. It's probably Steps of Yoth, right? Yeah. So I'll move in here and I'll explore for my second action. Okay. We got this one. It's the current depth level. And it's also two away from you. Yeah. I have one, two, I have three actions remaining. I mean, dude, I think I just uh, investigate. Ow. <clears throat> I have 15. So I'm going to get plus three. So we're going to go six to two. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Grab a clue. I have two actions remaining. Mm -hmm. I'm going to gamble. We're going to go three to one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Very safe gambling this. Yeah. I'm trying to be more responsible. Hey, I'll get two money. I'm going to spend two of it. Russ, Russ. Please don't attack the chaos bag. <gasps> Russ, I said please don't. Stop it. You want to play so bad? Oh my god. <laughs> He's got a system here. He does. No, no, no. All right. Um, I'm gonna ready. <laughs> I'm gonna spend two to ready the. Um... Are you willing to reach in the gas bag if there's claws <laughs> potentially on the inside? Hey, buddy. There's some grasping hands right now. Alright, I'm gonna investigate again, and I'm gonna do this to once again go six to two. For April Fools this year, you and I need to create and release a Russell themed yeah. uh, scenario event. Okay, I fail, but I will play Lucky to get plus two. Nice. Grab this clue, then I'll move here. Eric, he's going to get two clues and get in, and then we can actually advance. Holy cow. Okay, well, let's let's do that. Let's do that! Um, if you don't, it's okay, but no, we're let's... in a situation where we can. Yeah. Um, so, we're going to investigate... Oh, it doesn't tap. And we're only at six to, Ooh, to four. To four. So we're going to. Nope. Yes. Oh, you're going to use your favor of the moon trick? Yeah. Hell yeah. So you're now 12, a 13 to four, assuming you're using your Blasphemous Covenant, which I yeah, assumed yeah. you were. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, you still get this back, though. Yeah. All right, so we can't leave this turn, but that's okay. That sucks. Well, actually, though. we technically can. Because mm -hmm. you're back to being Luke, which means if you grab it on the next two investigates uh, and you go into your gate box before your turn's over, you come out at the end of the investigation phase. Yes. So we still feasibly could. That go No, because you uh, blast right. this cuff. So I think we should. I think we should try it. If it doesn't work, it's okay, but... So we're going to break our fun little system for a little while. Yeah. Because what we're going to oh, do... Oh, did you gain your resource from your favor of the moon? I did not. If there's one thing Parallel Skids loves, making sure it's his, uh, their friend has a... 
Has money. Has money. So what we're probably going to do... Hi, buddy. ...is we're actually just going to play each fey individually. I think that's smart. You got a lot of value out of them, right? Yeah. So you are, I believe, nine to four. Nine to which four. Which is very comfortable. And you get it back anyway. So you are now a seven to four. Eight to four. No, because it's minus two. Minus two? Yeah. Curse tokens are minus two. Oh, right. Yeah, that just makes it a plus one. Nice, you pass. And you get that back into your hand. Yeah. That's just organic uh, fey value. Yeah. All right, you got one action left. So I think we're going to do it again, and I think this time we're committing both. Cool. So you have a million. You have 12. 12 to 4. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even put charges on the gate box after being a, a Yithian. Uh, unfortunately, that means I do lose the... Uh, the phase. But you got you played them a lot. That I was a lot, a lot of value. Lot. Uh, would you like to go into your gate box I before your turn does? Would you like to come out over here? I would. All right. that's a, That was a really good turn, Eric. I mean, all your ideas, so thank you. I mean, that, that makes sense that I, I can see the lines for that pretty... I actually held a contest with our with patrons. End of the round. Oh, sorry. you We actually can't because your gate box is snake scourged. Oh, shit. So we can't this turn. That's okay. I think we just... We'll still advance, but that's mm -hmm. okay. That's fine. All right. Um... Still do your upkeep. Still do your upkeep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we will go to... This advances, Eric. Okay. Oh, no. Welcome back. A shrill sound of hundreds of snakes rattles suddenly, uh, rattles suddenly erupts throughout the cavern. You have crossed into territory that humanity was never meant to enter. The ear-splitting alarm pierces your eardrums and causes your ears to bleed. Your senses are overwhelmed, and you cover your ears in vain. You cannot hear your own thoughts. Finally, the warning ends, and you are left with the uncontrollable urge to flee. However, you know that if you fled now, your actions would endanger all of humanity, bravely or foolishly. You press onward. If the Harbinger of Volusia is set aside, move it into the pursuit area. Find the enemy that, in that is in pursuit with the highest evade value and spawn at the location where the investigators began at this depth level. Okay. All right, so I'm probably going to need to go evade that, that motherfucker and then come back. Why? Because uh, it's connected, it'll come and attack us. I mean, unless I just go first and then No, because we... at the end of the round we advance. Right. The serpents have stirred up something much larger and more deadly than anything you have faced on this journey. Pale, sweaty, and terrified, you scurry for an exit. Any exit. After the third doom is placed on this agenda, find the enemy that is in pursuit with the highest evade value and spawn it at the location where the investigators began at this depth level. Alright, what's your evil card? Damn. Uh, test Brain X. This gets plus X difficulty, where X is the current depth of the level. If you fail, take two horror. Oh, this should be gone. Yeah. Uh, so I'm only at four. I got another Pit Warden. Okay. Four to three does not feel great. I think I still do it, though. That's all I've got. Oh wait, five to three. Yeah, look at that. It's back online. Minus two, you're golden. Okay, thank goodness. All right, let me go clear a path for this. Okay. I'll get three money, mm -hmm. and I'll get plus four for my next test. So I'm gonna come in here. Okay, so that puts me at nine to three. Let's do it, let's go nine to three. Yeah. Good little phase. Oh, wow. That's huge. Okay. I'll take this, watch this. All right, so you're evaded, and we'll mark one of the four resources we need for them to just go away for this scenario. Oh, Because that nice. tech's still on them. So that's something we'll go for. I have one action left. I'm going to move back to the steps of Yoth. Nice. But I'm going to use my Lightning Bolt ability. And I have how much resources? I have uh, 17. So I can do my lightning bolt, and this is going to give me... I mean, I think we do one. And then I have... I mean, we go big. Always go big. 
I'm going to do two. And then I'm going to put three on this. Watch this. So I'm going to go three, four, seven to two. And I need to succeed by at least one. Wow. Lest I lose a bunch of cash. Russell. Minus two. I'm going to get two from this. It's going to be three. I'm going to get nine resources. Go for it, Eric. I'm going to take this guy upstairs. Maybe give him a toy on his scratching post. Okay. So I'm going to go one. So good. So I'm going to I'm going to move one into that room. I'm going to uncage the soul, spending two resources to put down Eye of Chaos as my second magical spell with three charges on it. And I am going to draw a card. Wait, how is that possible? One, two, three, four, five, six. I forgot to mark a clue. Yeah, yeah. Freaks me out for a moment. That's usually where like, it goes. Oh no, we're, we're like we're stuck here. We're, we're dead. <laughs> um, so I am going to draw a card as my last action, mm -hmm. just to do it, and then I'm done. Cool. I think I'm going to transfer three to my mom as well. Oh, wise, wise. And then we can go upkeep. Yeah. <laughs> what? Just the amount. Oh, of money. the amount of money. Yeah, compared. Yeah, especially. Compared, but I mean that's that's what my deck do. All right, uh, let's advance, Eric. Flip that over. We lose all of our clues. Okay, so we go up uh, to three of five. Yep. Uh, the enemies are all moved to the pursuit area. You already know that. Remove all doom from all locations in play, which is great. Draw a random set aside location other than Steps of Yoth. Put it into play and place each surviving investigator there. Um, yeah. Holy cow. This is tense and I love this. Yeah. I'm really impressed. One. Yeah. I've gotten quiet because I'm just like, okay, okay, how do I, how do we get there? Uh, we're on the bridge over Nakai. Oh, hey. Yeah, pretty chill. It's the one that gets plus one shroud for each vengeance point. Which is... Currently zero. Oh, right, because that other one went away. Yeah. We might see it again, though. We might. All right, Eric. We're at one of five. When there's three, uh, one of these guys is going to join us. Yeah. What do you got? Children of Volusia. Put it into play. Certain enemies get plus one fight and plus one evade. At the end of the round, discard one copy of Children of Volusia from play. Okay. Cool. That's not bad. Got another one. Okay, that's not great. It's, it's pretty fine. Okay. Oh, well, why don't you start us off? How many chaos tokens do we have in the bag? Curse tokens? Yeah. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's four in the bag. Okay, perfect. I wish I had saved those phase, but I'm not going to get greedy. Oh, you have an eye of chaos now, too. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Although we're not going to use it this round because there's not a lot of... Oh, yeah, because it's connecting locations, right? Yeah. Well, this one's a bit strange where it's actually hard to get multiple locations, right? Because we need to have no clues to be able to explore. Yeah. So it's a little bit tricky for that kind of combo stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. You have three actions remaining. But I also can replace a charge on it. Yes, which is really nice. Uh, but what I'll probably do for right now is just because six cents... Doesn't cost anything? Exactly. Just go for it. Yeah. Just what? Uh, seven? It doesn't exhaust. Right. Seven to two. Oh, do I favor of the moon just to get some money back? Yeah. I say I say don't. Oh, okay. Unless you need the money. I mean, no. Minus three. So that's going to become trickier. Yeah. All right, you have uh, two actions remaining. Yeah, so I'm going to investigate again. Six nice. cents. Yeah, seven to three. Yeah. Nice. And then for my last action, I'll investigate. Oh, I mean, I'll explore. Go for it. Ooh, Bright right. Canyon. After you enter it, if you're poisoned, take a damage, check your supplies. If you have binoculars, discover two clues on Bright Canyon. I do not have it. I think I have binoculars. Oh. 
Let's check the campaign log. I do! Okay. Sick. All right, well, I'm going to uh, red clock to move here. Mm -hmm. Let's see who that is. One second, I'm going to pause the video. My sister's dog knows the way here. So just my dad with my sister's dog. He, when they walk by, he has to come say hello I love to it. me and Russ. Okay, three actions. Um, I will get two clues. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. I have two actions remaining. I'll gamble. I can do three of this. So then we have 16, so I'll get plus four. So we're gonna go seven to four. Seven to three, sorry, seven to three. We love it. I'll gain seven resources, but it's only gonna be four because I'm gonna put three on my mom. Okay. So six. And then two. And then I have what? What's the shroud here? Two, two? left. Uh, I do have two actions left. I'll just go three to two. I don't think there's any downside, right? It's minus two. No. Although there is some downside if you... Uh, we don't have any of the other ones. Yes. Yeah, we true. only have the top and the bottom. Because you've, you've decided we we're going to forge our own path. That's true. Yeah, I feel. And I'm all here for it. I was scared at first. But now I'm feeling like it was the right idea. Yeah, fuck, fuck me, fuck me, I fail. All right, I'll keep. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these goes away. Eric, you get two of five. What's your evil card? Two of five, snake scourge. I'm a snake. Oh, dog. Minus one health. Uh, I can do brain two to get rid of it, and I think that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do clean up. All right, Eric, why don't you start us off? Sure, I mean, I'm just gonna do what I always do. Investigate? Yeah. Only six to two because your Holy Rosary is currently not here. Yeah, so I'm gonna favor of the moon. Yeah. Into Blast. I mean, do you, here, here's a question. I do you want me to explore this location to maybe reveal a connecting location that you can get additional clues off of? Would you want me to do that? Because my, really my turn's kind of pretty chill. Yeah, no, go I for it. I think I'm just gonna That's test this. really wise. Justin's like, there's no real connecting locations. Fixes the problem. <laughs> We're gonna test this. I have um, 21, so I get plus five. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go seven to two. <laughs> get rid of my Curse of Yig. Uh, did you do a temp fate in this one? I did, yes. Okay. Then that should be in here. Yeah, we pass. Get rid of this. <laughs> your, your, expression, oh, your expression seeing a blessing when hanging out with, <laughs> yeah, with your, Curse, Curse Luke. Luke. Uh, so I have five actions this turn. Okay. So that was one, two. I'll explore. Nope. Yes. No clues on this one, though. When exploring a broken ch uh, check it flies, if you do not have a pickaxe, place one doom on the broken passage. I think I do have a pickaxe. Uh, no, you do. Okay. Well, then I'm going to move up here and I'm going to explore one more time. I don't yeah. think we're going to get something. So that was... One, I uh, saw it. One, two, three, three four, four, five. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe we'll get you one. Let's see. That one does not connect. No. I tried. You know, that's fine. We've we've now got our out. Yeah, we have the thing, and some of these will have it, but at least uh, at least I did something with my turn rather than just gamble. We're gonna go sure. um three or one. We love it. See if we can pay off my mom this turn. I fail, but I'll still pay off my mom. I was about to say, I think you can just pay off your mom. Just get that done. And it's nice that I don't actually have to do anything in the last scenario with that one. Oh, sick. Because it just it just punishes me for experience. Go for it. Well, I mean, there's no reason to I have chaos into anything else. I will, f you know what? I'm going to favor the moon though. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Eye of Chaos, because it'll just pay it back its own charge. Oh, that exhausts. I don't think it does. No, you're right. With Blasphemous Covenant. So then you have 
six, seven to the games too, which I think is a nice thing because you're now beating the minus five. Oh, you're you getting your resource for your favor of the moon? Ah, that's what I wanted to do for next round. Yeah. Beauty. Throw that in there. And you just didn't remove a charge because you were putting it back on. Yeah. Can it also do from your clue or just connecting? Oh, you also get an additional clue because you succeeded in your investigation. That just also gets you an additional clue. Oh. Well, there's no reason not to do it then. Yeah, you, you nailed it. Okay, so that was one action. Mm -hmm. Two, three. Uh, oh, we have enough clues. I thought we had less than that. Perfect, all right, let's keep it going. <laughs> now, let's go upkeep. <laughs> well, we're actually having a great time. I mean, your deck's very good, and my deck is also very good, so I'm not surprised. All right, Eric, why don't you advance that? And tap everything first. Yep. Uh, so once again, uh, the level goes up for four now. Um, enemies move to the pursuit area, remove all doom, draw random set aside locations, flip this back over. Nice. All right, I got the question is, because we're doing pretty good, do we want to try to fight Yig? I'm feeling lucky. Oh god, you do have that super shotgun. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we could also not, but we're starting the Broken Passage, so you want to explore this one because it's the one that punishes you if you do not have the pickaxe. Yeah. All right, uh, and then we got one, two, three, four. Shuffle those in. All right, this guy's going to spawn with us, but I'll take him. Okay. And then you get your evil card. Why does he spawn with us? Uh, when the third doom is placed, we find oh, yeah, the enemy yeah. with the highest evade value. Test foot one. This test gets plus X difficulty, where X is the current depth level. If you uh, fail, take two damage. I'll give it a shot. Do you have a ward protection? Or do you probably have a deny? Do you have a deny? I have okay, both. Okay, then you go. You do. Yeah, you. I was just going to see, because if you don't, I also have some mitigation, but you are very well covered. Uh, you still fail. Do you? Yeah, you still fail. Four to five, yeah. So you take two damage. Now do I want to ward that? Oh, you're too late to ward it. Because ward has to be when you're resolving the revelation. Right, then I have to deny existence. Yeah. And gain the opposite, so I'll just heal. Seems good. Yeah. I got a lost in the wilds. So I'm going to use the well connected mm -hmm. to go up. I have 12, I have 13. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go up um, five to three. Mm-hmm. I'm okay if I fail, I just want to try to mitigate the damage I take. Yeah. Oh, sorry, this should be in there. Oops. I'm also here with the Blasphemous Covenant if you need. No, we're good. Sick. 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 So I think I'm actually just going to evade it and then stab it with a switchblade a few times to try to... Um, kill it. Get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, not kill it, but just like clear it out so it goes away for the scenario. Yeah. So I'm going to gain three resources. Okay. And then I get plus four to my next test. So we're going to try to... I think evade the motherfucker because mm -hmm. I think that's the important one. So I have, I get plus four. I mean, I think actually we stab it first. So we're going to use the, um, this. So we have three, seven, nine, ten. We have ten to three. It's got 20 health. Yeah, we're not kidding. No, but if it gets, if I attack or evade it four times, it goes away. Right, right. So, like, I'm removing it without killing it. Yeah. Yeah. He'll take one, two damage. Sorry, she will. And then I will put another token on her. Oh, my God. That's her, isn't it? Uh, that's my headcanon. I don't think it actually is Ishtaka because she, her, uh, the Harbinger and Ishtaka can be in play at the same time. Yeah. Um, but in my head canon, it's like timey wimey shit. A hundred percent. This she's clearly the harbinger of Volusia. All right, we're gonna try to evade this this MF. Where we have five to three. I'm gonna commit this to get plus. We're gonna go eight to three. Could you imagine if I just was like just not punching it and then yeah. it was just gone this <laughs> round? Yep. So we're gonna evade it and we're gonna knock it down on its ass. Mm -hmm. And then. I think I am going to punch it with the knife. So we have four. We have six to three. I would like to go... Mm. 
I want to be up five. So I'm going to use my two guns to do this. It's a little bit overkill, but I have a shotgun in my hand. Yeah. Um, so we have eight to three. Auto fail? Not today. <laughs> What's that? You catastrophe. So fast. Play when you would reveal chaos token that would reduce your skill value to zero, including the auto fail token. Cancel that token and treat it as an elder sign instead. <laughs> what a powerful ability. Um, Is that you at the top of the hill? No, no it's just, just uh, no, actually just, uh, that's just dead skin. That's just dead skin. It is you. Uh, so there's a car. I, 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 I haven't done it because this card's taboo to remove itself from the game. But there's a Silas deck where you can loop this card like infinitely. And Amazing. it's just naughty. All right, you're gone. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. And you are gone. Out of play. All right, I'm done. That's me. Uh, well... Oh, I can't return that card. That's cheating. SB two or lower. You go while I'm doing this. Okay. Um, I'm gonna explore. Hell yeah. Uh, the abandoned site. X is equal to the current depth level. Four shroud. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play Iktaka. You mean Ikak? Because I just got rid of Ishtaka. You did. You just ended <laughs> oh, future I'm also going to gamble. Ictaka. Future past Ictaka. I'm also going to quickly just gamble. Three to one. Do it. It's harder to pass this. Yeah, but that's okay. You got to shoot your shot. I'm going to Eye of Chaos, Favor of the Moon, Blasphemous Covenant, Covenant to keep that at three. Yep, seems great. And I'm going whew, four to... You have seven to four. Seven, including this? Uh, five. You have eight to four. Sorry, eight to four. Because that puts you up to six, seven, and then the Blasphemous Covenant. Let's go nine to four. Nine to four. Nice. Technically, you need to do this before oh, you reveal oh, no, that. No, oh, ten to four. Yeah, yeah, no, so then you don't need that. But yeah, technically, you need to do that before you would reveal the tokens. But this one was going to be revealed anyway, yeah. so it, it doesn't actually matter. So Just for sequencing. Oh, good to know. Four, five, six, seven, eight... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's nine to four. Yeah, which is the minus five you want to beat. Add another charge to your gate box. Sure. Get two clues. Get a resource. Heck yeah. Just value on value on value. And I think that's my second action. Yeah, you have one action remaining. Wait, no, I explored, played Iktaka, and then... Perfect. I'm placing another fucking charge on the gate box. You hear that, Ig? I'm powering up. I'm gonna try and spawn Yig on me while I'm in the gate box again. Hell yeah. Uh, four or five. Uh, evil card goes to you. Did you do your upkeep? And no. ready your stuff? Deep dark, put deep dark into play next to the agenda deck. No more than one clue may be discovered at each location by each investigator each round. Yeah, that's a bit annoying, but that's okay. I think we're we're doing pretty good. Hey, Some just a guy to kill. Okay, um, why don't you go first? Because I'm just going to be killing this guy. Sure, I'm going to explore. City of Serpents. When City of Serpents has no clues on it, it is considered to be in the victory display for purposes of counting vengeance. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit scary, especially if we get that triangle one that when you're in it, it counts as vengeance. Yeah. But it's not too bad, all things considered. Uh, I'm going to explore again. You can't. There's clues on your location. Right. But you could move here and explore if you did want. I think I'm just going to try and claim one clue off of it first. I think that's fair. And then just cheat it. See if you can, yeah, see if you can just cheat a clue. Yeah, so instead I'll do this one. Okay. I mean, like, right now we're, we're going to, we're like, we're basically looking Six, good until we're seven, not. Eight. So it's eight to three. Yeah. Sweet. And then I'll just move back here. Sweet. All right. Um, hmm, how do we do this? I think I'm going to just loop. Oh, no. I'm going to move up to two, three times, but I'm not going to. Mm-hmm. 
And then I'm going to attack this guy. And I'm just going to do a base. I have two, five, six, six to three. Mm -hmm. Just see if maybe we get lucky, we can just kill this guy. But he's got retaliate, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm not going to miss. And other lies we tell ourselves to feel safe. Uh, one damage. We'll use the well connected to get plus four. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go. Actually, I guess I'm gonna gamble first. We're gonna go one to uh, three to one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Get two money back. Sorry, th uh, three money back. Because now that puts me to 16, and then I get one more value on this. Nice. So we have 16, we're going to attack, we get plus 4, so I have 10 to 3. He's dead. <laughs> and then I think for my last action, there's no better time. <laughs> Play some blackjack. <laughs> Just pull some cards out, me and uh, Delilah. You and Delilah and a dead snake. Yep. Oh, that's actually really smart because you also because you only can get one clue. Yeah, yeah no, that's a good setup. That's really nice. Thank All you. right, we got three. Doesn't count. Three. Eight. Not, not a good start for you. That's okay. Thirteen. Fifteen's nice. Fifteen's good. Twenty. We stop there. Get six money. Give me another dice back, baby. <laughs> Okay. And then we get to go uh, upkeep. Yeah. I'm going to take a horror. Why? Oh, All right. Just cycle through my deck. I've not had that rule affect me in so long. Yeah. I mean, my deck only has like... Oh. Oh, interesting. You're gone. Bye. That's over there. That's gonna hurt my sanity, potentially. Potentially, I think you—you you, actually think you're pretty well equipped to get out, especially yeah. with a cock and the um, six cents. Yeah. Oh shit! That's actually a bad time to draw that card. This goes away. This goes away. Why don't you advance this, Eric? Oh, find the enemy that is in pursuit with the highest evade value and spawn it at the location where the investigators began at this depth level. If Yig is set aside, the ground shakes with each of the massive creature's steps. He crushes the stone be beneath his mighty feet, tearing through the walls with his clawed, scaly hands. He sets his hateful eyes on you, unhinging his jaw in a cruel display of hunger. Spawn Yig at the location where the investigators begin at this depth level. Holy shit. So he is Hunter Massive. So he's actually here, but I'm going to just leave him in front of me for simplicity because I don't think you're coming back. Um, he cannot be damaged while there's another ready serpent enemy at his location, and each other serpent enemy at his location gains alert and retaliate. He hits for 3 and 3, and he has 18 health. Can you do this? I'm going to try my darndest. The Red Depths. The, the deeper you descent, uh, the deeper your descent, the brighter and more pervasive the red glow of the caverns becomes. If you didn't know any better, you'd think you were descending into the very depths of hell itself. After any amount of doom is placed on this agenda, find the enemy that is in pursuit with the highest evade value and spawn it at the location where the investigators begin at this depth level. It's going to be tight. Maybe I do come back just to body block a bit. No, I'm, I'm okay right now. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to go to the moon. All right, what's your evil card, Eric? We still have those, which might change things. Yeah. Brood of Yig. Oh, he's going to... Oh, hell yeah! Let's go, Eric! <laughs> Each serpent enemy gets plus one fight and plus one evade. I'm just trying to think, do we cancel this or do we just try to do the big combo next turn? Oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
I gotta take three I gotta take two additional actions this turn, so we have five actions. Our first one's gonna be trying to evade this pit warden. Uh-huh. So we're gonna go five to one. A minus five is bad here, so just don't draw that one. Minus two, that's a okay. Okay, I don't know if I can fight you right now. We might just try to evade you and just pick you off slowly next turn. Okay, but anytime any Doom is placed, we're going to get another guy. So I'm going to get another Pit Warden next turn. Mm -hmm. You did set it up good to avoid the Harbinger, at least. Yes. Oh, at least you can put that in your discard pile. Oh, thank you. Okay. I have four actions remaining. The Red Clock. I think I need to gamble. Three to one. If I win this, we're in a great position. If I'm not, I'm in a less good position. Mm -hmm. Five to one. I fail it. It's a minus four. So we do lose that. No, that means you meet, doesn't it? No, because I was at three. Oh, you're right. I do meet it. Yeah. Because I went to f I was at three to one, went to five. No, you're right. So I do gain three money back. Okay, so we're at 18. Uh, 16 is the number. I have four actions remaining. Hmm. This guy does not have retaliate. No. So why don't we fast out a sawed off shotgun? Oh my god. Okay. I don't know how likely this is to hit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot him. So I currently have four to four. Yeah. And I get plus four. So we're eight to four. I can't double or enough on this. I actually don't know if this is the right time to do this. I don't think this I is think the right I pulled, time yeah, to do this. I pulled this back. Yeah. We pull this back. We're going to do that next turn, though. Mm -hmm. But what I do have to do is I am going to spend... Oh, but there's going to be so many guys. Doesn't he pursue us? Uh, he will chase us, but I can't move away from him without him attacking me. and have to evade him to do it. Oh, okay. Uh, but what I am going to do is I am going to spend one resource mm -hmm. to deal... Um, two damage to this guy with Delilah. Okay. So he'll do his, and if he's exhausted, I deal an additional one. Mm -hmm. I think my plan is kill that Pit Warden, and then we just kind of repeat this process next turn. Although the Pit Warden will, uh, yeah. But I can kill this guy, and then this guy will come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I still have my three actions. Mm-hmm. Sorry, sorry, four actions. So we're going to try to evade Yig. Mm -hmm. I have nine to four. Which is pretty comfortable. All right, he's evaded. Uh, I have three actions remaining. I'm going to stab this guy. It's not high. It's only um, six to four. Mm -hmm. But I have three actions, so I'm going to try to stab him until he's dead. Eight to four. He's dead. So with my new final action, I'm going to stab, try to stab Yig. Six to four. Just see if we can put some damage on this guy. Yeah. Let me just do some math. Nope. Don't need, doesn't, that doesn't, it's not going to change much. Hey. Go for it, Eric. You, you set yourself up a good. Okay. I am going to try to investigate. Um... We are not going to favor of the moon. Because instead we're just going to play this holy rosary into the act. So you have seven to six, I think? No, no, you have four, six, seven, eight, nine to six. Because you have six, seven, eight, yeah, nine to six. You do fail. It's a minus four. Brutal. All right, I'm just going to 
try again for my second action. Hell yeah. But now it's eight to six. I believe. And you don't want me to come out near you. I don't think so. I think you just make sure we have a way out just in case my plan goes south. Yeah. So how does this work? Um, after you says to flip it. Yeah. Nice. So, and then if I want to move. It'll be an action. But you also could just like do something else and move out for free. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think I'll gain a resource. I mean, unless you have like, do you have a promise of power in your hand? No. Okay, because if you did, I would like your Then I would location. come and draw. Actually, in that case, I'm gonna... Draw a card? Draw a card. I mean, if you have wild icons, I'll take them. You have no idea ah! what you just did. <laughs> come join me, join me, Hello, friend. Hello, friend. I heard there was snakes here. All right, that's, this might be pretty exciting. All right, is that it? Yeah. This guy's gonna stand up, so he's engaged with both of us. Uh, then we gotta do upkeep. Hey, Yig, remember all those times that's I got poisoned? Well, now man bites snake. All right, this guy's gonna come here. I'll take him. Okay. And then, uh, what's your evil card? Time to, yeah, time to chomp on a snake. Peril Surge. You must either place one doom on your location to discard Ancestral Fear, place Ancestral Fear in the victory display. How what so is our vengeance at? Currently zero. But this would add to our overall vengeance. Yes. And we're at five? One, uh, one of five, yeah. And nothing else is gonna spawn if I put it... Correct, yes. Then I'm gonna place one doom on our location. Nice, and that surges, so you have to draw another card. Pit Warden. Oh, that sucks. He spawns with us. It's another thing I need to get through. Um, You can't deny... So you can't ward a protection, this guy. I'm aware. I think I can probably evade him. Okay. He's only got a one foot. Okay. And I've got options. Uh, none of us are poisoned. Remember when that used to be a problem? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. We're going to need to start moving, I think. Yeah. Uh, but why don't you go first? You don't want you don't want to try and kill Yig first? I can't kill Yig when there's ready uh, enemies. Oh. While there's ready serpents, we can't damage Yig. Okay. Then I will try to do a uh, foot. I can help you with some foot. Sure. I'm at three to one. I have three. Holy shit. So you are six, six to, to one. one. You don't want that for yourself? Yeah, I'll nah, take it. it's all good. I think it's important that you do it. Evaded. <clears throat> ah, fuck. Maybe we just don't fight Yig? We might have to not. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know he's worth victory five. Yeah. It's just gonna ruin what my hope was, but that's okay. I have your promise of power. You have two actions left. There's not much you can do. I mean, you could punch the Yig. He doesn't have retaliate. I can't punch Yig well there oh, is. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could take the Pit Warden with one. This guy will attack you. Okay. How much damage does he deal? Three and three. Okay. You're going to do that? I mean, I have a deny existence that I could just pop out. Oh, yeah. It's if you ever need to. Yeah. Just, like, sit on it. Yeah. Grab a guy and try to evade a guy. Yeah. Would that help you at all? I don't know. Maybe. But the only problem is if, if it goes wrong, I can't do anything. You can't manage. You know? Yeah. So maybe I do just leave. Although you want me to have this promise, promise of power. power. We're getting a little bit greed right now, but that's okay. You sure? So I think if, yeah, you know what? You should just stay. If this doesn't work, we'll worry about getting out. Okay? And by that, I mean, I'll worry about getting out and you just like get clues. You look it up and you leave as a lightning bolt. Yeah. All right. So I guess I just take no actions because any actions would cause him to punch me. Yeah. Can I just choose not to take actions? Yep, you can. All right, we're gonna gain three resources on the red clock. We're gonna put one on this. Mm -hmm. So I get plus four to my first. We'll use it on this guy and we'll go um, nine to two. I wanted to use that to shoot Yig, but unfortunately we just got so many dudettes here. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. We're like, he's coming, let's get ready. And then it's just fucking hordes of snakes. Yeah, all right, this guy's evaded. I am then gonna try to evade the pit warden. Mm -hmm. I have five to one. I have to just hope I don't draw the minus five. If my plan is going to work, this is what we have to do. Okay. Minus two. Okay. So how much do I have? I have 21. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. So I can't gamble, but I can bring in a sawed-off shotgun. Mm -hmm. I only have one action remaining. Uh -huh. Remember, we're gonna fire at Yig. I'm gonna well connected, and we're gonna double or nothing. Okay, add a curse token. But so I'm this here. this guy has eight. Yeah, and I got mine too in case there's two. So this guy has eight. I'm attacking. This is this has to go really well. So I have three, four, five. Nine to eight. And plus one for each resource I have. I have 20. So we add another five to that. So we're 13 to eight. We just got to hope for... I mean, it, this can go... If, if I draw a plus one or a zero, we're going to the moon. If I draw like anything else, it's not going to be as great. But at least we got to do this. So we had what, 13? 13. To eight. So that means I succeed by five. Yeah. So we deal... Ten. Ten damage to this guy. Yes. So he takes... He has 18, so he has eight health remaining. That's still a lot of health. I don't know if we can do this. And he's still ready, so he's going to be attacking me. Okay, well, I think we just call it as it is here. Maybe I can get him slowly over time. Um, but I am going to use Delilah to deal two damage to this guy. You're not going to do it to him? No, because he's not exhausted. I think we have to kind right. of kill these smaller guys, too. Right. All right, this guy's going to come back to my hand. Would you like to get away before Gig attacks? Mm, yes. Sorry, Justin. No, it's. I think it's the right move. Damn. And then it was only ten damage. It was only ten. I mean, ten's a lot of damage in one attack. Ten is a lot of damage in one attack. All right, this guy's going to deal a big chunk of damage to me. I'm kind of worried that that might have been a mistake. No, I, it might have been, but I'm, I don't regret it, you know? Yeah. So what I think what we do is you uh, just try to get out. If you get out, we'll still make it out okay. Hello, my children. That's a good draw. And then you just want me to warp out here? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you could also, yeah, you could have done it. Uh, warp, warp out, like, yeah, to a place where you can explore. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go upkeep. Uh, we already did upkeep. I should be there, yeah. Yeah. All right. Bong, what's your evil card? Test X this. If I fail, take two horror. So I'm at five, two, five. All right, I'm just going to Google Red Clock Attack of Opportunity. Four, two, five. Yeah, I take the two horror. Ooh, that's okay. I'm not doing the crazy thing today. Actually, I'll take one horror on me and one horror on Ikiak. Uh, Eric, we're going to lose two resources. Okay. Actually, Eric, I think we're each going to discard an asset we control. Okay. Because you can discard the tower. Oh, right. We're going to lose Thermos. Okay, so I can move without getting attacked by this. So I actually can get away from Yig this turn. Oh, sick. Why don't you go first, though? Yeah, because I'm going to explore. Yep. Shit. That does connect, but that does not connect to this location. Okay, that's great. And you need two more clues? Yep. We don't have the steps to Yoth, though, yet. No. Okay. Okay. So that's my first action. Second action. Uh, is this actually any better than what I can just do naturally? Four, seven versus four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so they're literally the same. But this one automatically grants me the additional clue. I think we forgot to put the curse in on that. Did I put the curse in on the promise of power? Uh, no, I don't think you did. I don't think I did. I think that actually would have been, no, it would have made our odds a bit better, but. Yeah. Um. I think we're just gonna Eye of Chaos, because that'll grant us the better chance. This is connected. 
What does that mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could grab, you could cheat a clue. Doesn't yeah. exhaust. Right, thank you. Oh, good. Two, Favor of the Moon, Blasphemous Covenant. Covenant. <laughs> uh, actually, before I Blasphemous Covenant, because um, we're very close to the end of the game, I might as well just play that for its value. Like, commit it? Yeah. Nice, okay. So then you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to the game's four. Seems good. Yeah. Uh, and you want to grab a connecting location? That's what this does, right? Yeah. Or connecting location. Yeah. All right, yeah. three clues. Well, Eric, all you got to do now is find uh, the steps of Yoth, and we can actually get out this turn potentially. Yeah. Because I don't think I can kill Yig. That's fair. So it was maybe one maybe second action. Third action, I'm going to explore. Steps of Yoth. Okay. Is it a May Advance? A May Advance. Okay. So how do you think we should do this, Eric? Do you want to get out, or do you want me to try to push my luck and try to kill Yig? What do you think? How bad's it gonna be if you you're gonna die if you? I mean, I'm gonna be moving, and I'm gonna like start trying to kill these enemies. Okay. I say. I do mean, you want I... me to see how my turn goes? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll move to you. Mm-hmm. Because I can move up to three times. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this is not connected. Okay, so Yig's not gonna get to us. Um, sorry, that's for two up here. All right, we're gonna try to um, stab this brood of Yig. No, I wish I hadn't used my blasphemous. Oh, I got mine. I got mine. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna commit this quick thinking. We're gonna try to stab him with a switchblade. So I get plus five, mm -hmm. six. So I have 12 to two, 12 to four. Yes, because there's two vengeance, 12 to four. Yeah. But it's not three vengeance, which was a good call for you to not put that in the victory display. Thank you. Mm. All right, we're probably gonna get out of here this time. We're turn. probably just gonna leave. Yeah, we're probably just gonna leave. I think we gotta make the responsible choice. We, we did a big shot on Yig. We looked cool doing it. Now it's time to peace. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to evade this pit warden mm -hmm. at five to one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Luckily, uh, I can't, I mean, unluckily, I can't. I don't know, I have my stylish coat. We actually have quite a bit of soak. Not that it matters. I'm also gonna just kill this guy. Nice. He's fucking dead. Oh, he has vengeance. You know what? I'm not gonna kill that guy. Okay. Oh shit, that means that this guy should have vengeance. So we are at three. We are at three. Which is bad because something happens. The squids are now auto fails. Right. But I think at this this gives us even more reason to yeah. want to leave. Okay. I don't um, think that means we cheated at any point. Hopefully. No, 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 we actually didn't. No, because that was last turn I killed that guy and we right. haven't seen a squid since. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to try to evade this guy at five to one. I'm going to commit this sawed-off shotgun to go six to one. Wow, we are totally just not yeah. going after Yig. Yeah, we're just trying to get out of here. Yeah. Auto fail. All right, um, these enemies are going to attack me. Mm-hmm. Our... Yig's going to move here. Yep. Hey, Yig. This guy's going to come here, but then we can advance. Yeah. Why don't you do it? Add one resource to the current depth level. And we were supposed to start at one, right? Yep. Okay. If the current depth level is five plus and you are in campaign mode, go to R2. Holy shit. That was so cool. Yeah, so how it works as well is the, uh, if Yig's pissed at you, we actually you actually remove um, agendas at the start of the game. Oh, that's funny. Uh, so if Yig's really pissed on you, he actually starts in play. Oh, wow. So then it also goes as well. This one doesn't end. Um, sorry. Did we end? Oh, no. We, you probably just moved that there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, with the last one, it doesn't actually end. You just draw additional cards to the amount of Doom in play. So Doom just keeps stacking. Jesus. All right. So we got Resolution 1. Is that what it said? Resolution 2. Oh, even better. Maybe because the number's higher. All right, somehow, despite the odds stacked against you, you've reached your destination. The telltale red glow that has enveloped you since you entered Yoth recedes. Replaced with an unpierceable inky darkness, the nexus must be close. You can feel it. Depth 5 when it ended. Um, the Harbinger is still in player set aside. The damage on the Harbinger is 4. For each vengeance point, we have... Uh, we actually have 5 vengeance. Oh, shit. Because these are all... Oh, no, no. Uh, sorry, that one does it. No, so we have five vengeance. Victory is one, two, three. Almost got uh, five on Yig. How sick would that have been? Yep. 
Uh, no one was poisoned. Interlude 5, The Darkness. Oh, no, we also got bonus XP to the depth level, so we're going to walk away with 8 experience when holy, this is done. Holy lord. All right. Oopsie. The Darkness. The grim, blood-red caverns and resentful cities of Yoth hold no candle to the terrifying depths that lie below them. You're in the deepest level of this subterranean realm, the caverns Ishtaka referred to as Nakai. Nothing could have prepared you for the impervious murk that surrounds you on all sides, an inky, dar an inky darkness that none of your light sources can penetrate. You grope around in the darkness until you feel the jagged walls of the cavern begin to and begin to fo follow it aimlessly, desperately hoping to find the way forward. A grim realization dawns on you. Even should you complete your task, you will surely never find a way back to the surface. The overwhelming darkness of the cavern fills you with a dread you have never before experienced. You cannot see your hands as you grope about in the darkness, nor can you tell if you're in a narrow tunnel or a vast open space. The ground beside you could extend for miles or abruptly become a bodiless cavern. You would not be able to tell the difference unless you step there. Hours pass as you stumble in the dark slowly, carefully, nervously. Every step could be your last. Your uh, last. Because we have found the missing relic, we get to read Arcane Thrumming. Worrying that your, the fall may have damaged the Etsley relic, you pull it out of your pack and examine it. Oddly, the device seems completely undamaged. It vibrates with a, glowing, a growing intensity, humming louder now than ever before. Um, so, because we, are, we have the relic and we are forging our own path, we read Final Dawning. Without Alejandro Ishtaka to distract you, you find yourself studying the relic intently. Both of your guides have only fed you lies. They hid the relic's true nature from you, manipulating you in an attempt to bring the relic to this very place. After your experience with the great race of Yith, you think you understand why. The technology behind the device's design is far beyond what any human could accomplish, but quite possible for the Yithians. You even recognize some elements of the relic's construction from the technology in Pentecostus. Somehow it ended up in the hands of the Etzli, who defended it with the care of all manner of creatures. Creatures that predate humanity, creatures who wish to use it to return back time. And now that the relic is in your possession, only you can stop this from occurring. You will swap yours with this one. Holy crap. All right, so no one has a torch, so we're gonna read the abyss. Oh, shit. The odd material inside does not seem to accept any source of fire you use to try to... Oh, after hours of slowly progress, you eventually stumble into, a bra uh, stumble into a brazier filled with marble cubes. The odd material inside does not seem to accept any source of fire you use to try to light it. Your hope is snuffed out along with the light around you. Miserable, you prepare to endure the darkness ahead. You have no sense of how much time passes in the cold, terrible abyss of Nakai. Cross off all provisions and medicines that have investigators remaining in their supplies. We're going to the final scenario, Shattered Aeons. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Eric and I are going to do everything we can in our power to potentially turn back time. We're going to see how it goes in the next scenario in Shattered Aeons. See you all then. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, let's GG's.